Declare that the silver is mine and the gold is mine is your father. We have gold in abundance. You remember the story of the prodigal son? When he went, he went to the father and said, Give me my own share. And the father was like, ah, ah, What happened now? How ah, that I have belongs to you? Just give me my own share. Give me my own part of the inheritance. And I said, Okay, he does what you want. Okay, take. And he took all that he and went to a far country. And when he spent all in Iota's living, he came to himself and thought, ah, ah, how many of my father's higher servants? They are enjoying having enough and to spare me. Me and not I'm suffering here. That even I want to eat the food that the pigs are eating. Now they are not giving me to eat. How many? He said, I don't We go back to my father. I say, you see, I've seen against you. And I've seen against everyone. Don't accept me as your son again. But accept me as what? As one of your higher servants. And, and the father was like, what are you saying? You are my son. When you were still my son. When you are with me, you are my son, you are away, you are still my son. Nothing can change that. Hallelujah. Amen. The father said, I disown you, disown you. The blood is still flowing. As much the blood is still flowing in your vein. You are still the one. You are still the son. Praise God. He said, When you are you are still my son. But Shevin was taking care of. They put on him a, a brand new cloth, a brand new shoe, ring, sign of authority. Thank you. And when the other son came, I said, ah, Father, what's the meaning of all this nonsense now? Wow, I've been serving you all my life. I've never transgressed your commandment for once. And now you've not even given me a small goat, a small goat to so you've not given me a small goat to keep so that I can make money with my friend. And the father looked at him and said, ah, ah, all that I have belongs to you. Do I need to give you it's yours already? Do I need to give you what belongs to you again? Praise God. So this God that is saying the gold is mine and the silver is mine is your father. And that's what most believers are doing today. They are complaining, grumbling, murmuring. Some of, you know, that's what lays some people spray out complaining, murmuring, abusing God and say, God, you are not fair. God, are you blind? Can't you see that I, I, can't, I can't afford that? Can't you see that I don't have money to get this done? Can't you see I don't have it? Can't you see? Can't you see? And God is saying, see, why are you, why are you disturbing yourself? All that you need, they are yours already. Praise God. Say, but God is able to make all grace to abound on God that we may have sufficient, all sufficiency, all sufficiency in all things. And the Bible says, say, for the grace that bringeth salvation as appeared on the home, that grace that will make all things to be ours, for us to have sufficiency in all things as appeared unto us. All you don't need to do is to take what belongs to you. God is holy. God is good. Therefore, if God is good and silver belongs to him and gold belongs to him, that shows that silver and gold, they are good. Because God is holy, therefore money is holy. There are some people that they are willing to believe that if they have money, they will become unholy. Or that money that they have will contaminate their faith. Praise God. But that's not it. God said, God is man. Silver is mine, and God is holy. And you know what? No evil can be found with God. No evil can be found with God. No unholiness can be found with God. So if God says that God is mine, silver is mine, and that will tell us that money is good. Everybody say, money is good. Money is good. Money is a tool in getting things done. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 19 says, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 19 says, A feast, a feast is made for laughter. A feast is made for laughter and wine makes merry. Say, but money answers everything. Everybody say money answers everything. Money answers everything. A feast is made for laughter. You want to laugh? What you need, what will answer that is what is money. Praise God. You know, you see some people, they tell me, funny, when there's no money like this, they tell me, funny, don't want my corner, maybe what you need to let me. Say, <laughs> well, a feast is made for laughter, and wine makes merry, but money answers everything. Money answers all things. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, money is a tool in getting things done. In fact, money is a tool in the hand of God. The God says, the Lord of hosts. Say once more, once more, once more. I will shake heaven and earth, the sea and dry land. Verse 7. Say that I will shake, I will shake all nations, and they shall come to the desire of all nations. Say that I will fill this temple with glory. Temple of the Lord. But I will fill this temple with glory, says the 
lot of bones. But see, that's it. The silver is mine. And the gold is mine. To God, the tool with which I'm going to shake the heaven and shake the earth is what the silver and the gold. Then I have what it takes to shake the heaven. I have what it takes to shake the earth. And also fill the temple with glory. Say so why? Because the silver is mine. And the gold is mine. You know, there are, there are headaches that are not needful. There are, there are frustrations that are not needful. There are back pains that are not needful. You know, there are some beds you will sleep on and you wake up with back pain. But I'm telling you, there are some beds you will sleep on and you, you will not feel like standing up. That's the different money. God is saying, see God is mine and God is mine. Then I will shake the heaven and I will shake the head. Then I will feel this temple with glory. Why is it? Because silver is mine and gold is mine. To shake the heaven and to shake the head, you need gold, sir. God will, will, will lavish his, 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 his money and all that he has on you if you are so down for the kingdom of God. So money in the hand of an evil man becomes evil because the money will enable him to perpetrate evil. And now money in the hand of a good man. Money in the hand of a good man will enable him to do what to do good. Praise God. Yeah.